Welcome back, amigos. Here now is Jack Ingram and this week's visit to the Acoustic Motel. So, who do you have for us this time, Jack? Howdy, folks. Welcome to the Acoustic Motel. New Braunfels own Johnny Burke Spent time in California collaborating with Mark Ford of Black Crow's fame and co-writing with guys like Hayes Carl back here in Texas. He's got traditional sensibilities and a rock and roll ego. I mean, edge, to make up a style that nobody can quite put a label on. That means he's doing it right in my book. I'm a fan. Let's check out Johnny Burke. Won't you take this monkey off of my back? I couldn't put forth a dad to hold back. Then you showed up and you broke the mold. A past full of scars and a heart of gold. I wrote this song, Heart of Gold, one of the older songs that I've written. I think I wrote it when I was 20, maybe. And I had a band of the dead, uh, called the Dead Ringers at the time. And we used to play that song, and we never really got a good recording of it, so I recorded it again last year. It's always been a staple of the live shows. It's one of those songs that means a lot to me, and I can never really figure out why there are those few tunes out of however many hundreds of songs I've written that they not only mean a lot to you, but they mean a lot to the, to the audience too. And if you're lucky enough to, to write a song that does both of those, I figure why not play it every night. Won't you take this monkey off of my back? I couldn't put forth what I had to hold back. Then you showed up and you broke the mold with a past full of scars and a heart of gold. Me and my buddy Sean, we had formed a group and we were playing on the Friday afternoon happy hour at River Road Ice House in New Braunfels when we were 16. You know, we learned a lot in that time period. And once that band broke up, I mean, I didn't know what to do. Because for eight years, that's all I'd done. Brian Bingham at the time, and that was right when he was moving out to California. He had some things going on out there. He said, man, I'd, I'd known him since I was 15. He said, come on out here and check it out. This is where you learn more of the recording process. This is where you learn more of being on the road for that long of amount of time and really having no home and just kind of finding yourself when you lose yourself like that. And so when I finally moved back to Texas a couple of years ago, I really knew what I wanted to do. This man all dressed in green, his speakers go B-U-M-P. Slicks his flat top, spits tobacco, says I'll be all I can be. Got problems, oh my, my, my. My, my, make them problems. Go bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. It was really more of a collaborative process, this, this last EP that I put out. I really wanted something that was more than musical identity that I'd grown up with. I knew these guys and a couple of girls that I'd played with for 10 plus years. I knew we could go in the studio, I could be the producer and just have fun with the songs. And it's kind of given me some breathing room until I come out with something that'll be a full length record eventually. put out the next full length record. Most of all, I want it to be something that I'm five years from now I'm proud of and 20 years from now I'm proud of. I really feel like I know where I'm at right now and got a solid base of songs that I would, I would like to see actually come to fruition as opposed to be forgotten in a few days after you put the record out. I got problems, oh my, my, my. My, my, make them problems go bye, bye, bye. Bye bye, yeah, I got problems. Oh my, 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 make 